When I was a student, I remember I used to listen to John Peel. Like, I think everybody of my generation who loves music would have been into John Peel. And um, one morning, or one, one night, he was playing uh, this track by Stina Nordenstam. And I remember at the end of it, he said, I don't know if that's my favourite record of 1994 or my least favourite record of 1994, but, it, but it's something extraordinary. And I literally heard it the following day, I got on the bus, went to the HMV in Oxford Street, picked up the record and was like, this is really special, got to the counter and the guy at the counter said, thank you God, your life will be changed, I've just emigrated from America and I've brought ten records with me, this is one of them, this record I will have till the day I die, you're, you're going to be in love with this artist for the rest of your life. And now... 18 years later, I'm still a massive Stina Nordenstam fan. And it was all about that connection, about that guy saying to me, these are really special records, buy this one and that one, you know, he turned me on to loads of other stuff as well. So I'm sure that happens in a different way now. And I'm sure that my son will have a different kind of way of, of discovering music and the enthusiasm will be connected in a different way. But you can't, you can't underestimate what it is when a human being who's knowledgeable about music says to you, try this.